What's up, family? Welcome to Ask the My Ops. Where we challenge you to stop playing and start pushing. This right here is my best friend and my wife, Fiona. This right here, this is my best friend, my baby, Ayize. Hey, what's up, y'all? We're going to go ahead and jump right into this question. I'm going to let my wife read it. And here it goes. Okay, here it is. I've been married to my husband for three years. We dated for four years prior to marriage, and I feel like we have a solid relationship. My man is freaky in the bedroom. He has expressed a desire to watch me have sex with another man. Oh, okay. (laughs) I don't know what to think of this. Does he want to be with another woman? Is he testing me? Where is this coming from? I'm a sexual person. Too, so I'm open, but I'm worried at the same time. Dang, he just pulled this joint up. You ain't, you ain't prepped me or nothing. Tell me the. To... All right, baby, let me tell you what it's about. Yeah, you know. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm gonna let you take the lead on that, Mister Maat. What you say? Um, you know, first of all, I want to say I appreciate you. You know, coming at us from this space and. And just being authentic and even asking us this question, because even though we don't know who you are, the reality is that you're still putting your stuff out there. So there's an element of vulnerability that's attached to that. So, Mm -hmm. again, you know, thank you for opening up and allowing us to enter into that sacred space. In reference to your question, when especially the part when you ask, you know, does he want to see whether or not this is an interest of mine? Um, You know, a lot of men, I've actually had conversations with men who have flirted with that territory to see whether or not their woman would um, step out on them. So depending upon the interest that you express, like if you're like gung-ho about it, there is a possibility that he could be (laughs) like, like, whoa. Yeah, you know, what's that all about? You're not satisfied with me sexually? You know, why you want another guy? But um, if he's comfortable with the idea, there's a couple of things that come to mind. Um, The first thing is that, you know, just innately, I'm going to say men, but I will... Men specifically, but I think people in general, uh, when it comes to their environment, we want to understand our environment, we want to conquer our environment, and we want to control our environment. So when it comes to being in a relationship, for men in particular, oftentimes men want to understand their woman, they want to conquer their woman, and they want to control their woman. And so in this situation right here, the act of him wanting to see you have sex with another man could possibly be a way where he's he's he, he's experiencing that desire to control to control he's um you know getting his rocks off because he now has an opportunity to put you out there and and, and um you know really basically exercise his control put her out him. there like he's a pimp basically yeah, i didn't want to say that but <laughs> put you out there you know <laughs> <laughs> but but no nah, i mean for a lot of men it's a power struggle in a relationship and you know with the whole dy- dynamics of power being at play you know men they want to feel like they're that big boss you know that they're that dude and and um they're running things so one way that men want to experience that is by saying you know if i can tell you to go out there and have sex with another man and you do it i got you I got this. So it's not even so much about the fact that you're experiencing sex with another man as much as it is about him inflating his ego over the fact that he's able to tell you to do it and then you do it. That's really that's what it's really about for some men. Now, there's another there's another type of guy who because he's afraid of the fact that you might cheat on him in a relationship. And people don't often think about this. My husband brought this up uh, yeah. before with yeah. another couple we were dealing with. Yeah, no because he, he might be fearful of the fact that you might step out on him in a relationship. Sometimes people eroticize fear. And so what I mean by Break that, that is... Break that down, brother. Yeah, people I mean, there's an, there's an eroticization fear. of fear that goes mm-hmm. on when you know, you're so afraid of something that the fear has gripped you to such a degree that you turn it into a sexual experience to try to make it pleasurable and then you then control the fear. Mm -hmm. So it's it's like the fear doesn't control you because you've eroticized that experience, you now control the fear. And so you actually take away the power of the experience by making it sexual. So some men do that because they're afraid of the fact that, you know, my wife, she might step out on me. So one way for me to get a grip on that is to let her, to tell her she can do it, to make it into a sexual experience and she's not really stepping out on me. 
Mm-hmm. And 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 the other thing is this that this may be his way of introducing a dynamic into the relationship, as my husband already said, to kind of test the waters to see you know if maybe he can just open it up, um, not just for you to be with the, another man, but perhaps he wants to be with another man. Ooh, you didn't think that was coming. Perhaps he wants to be with um, another woman. That's a good point. Um, perhaps he just wants to open up the relationship, and he really would like in his uh, mind's eye for y'all to be, you know, the top swingers of the world, just, you know, doing y'all thing. For those who don't know what swinging is, swinging is. And so, you know, he may not know how to bring that to you. You said you're open-minded. You said, you know, he's freaky, but I'm open and I'm, you know, a sexual person too, but I'm a little worried. Um, So here's what I would say to you to kind of wrap this up. First of all, one of the basic foundational pieces of any relationship. Mm -hmm. And the reason that folks come to us and talk to us is because we're going to give it to you straight. I'm going to keep it real with you. I know there will be many watching this video that will say, you need to let them know that that is wrong and it's immoral. And it's, why are you putting this in front of the, I can't. This is wrong and this is immoral and this is, you know, you shouldn't be doing it and it's an abomination and blah, 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 blah. I'm not saying that to you. But what I am going to say to you is this. In 2013, most people can't maintain a relationship between one person and one person. Two people working on it, staying together, coming together, working together, evolving together. Most people can't even do that. Mm -hmm. So when you open up the door, if you should decide to do so... You expose yourself to disease. That's one Let me tell you something. You're exposing (laughs) yourself to possibilities that you have no idea Um, of the damage that they can do. So um, you just need to be mindful of that. The fact also, and I'm going to bring this to you, that you come to us and nowhere in the letter do you say, you know, I went to him and I told him what I felt. Mm -hmm. Uh, I I talked to my husband. I said this about what I was thinking. And then this is what he said. You didn't do that. What you said is this is what happened. I'm, I'm a little worried. What, what's up? What should I do? So what that says to me and what that reveals about the dynamic that may already be present in your relationship is that there is not a foundation that is set where honesty can happen, mm-hmm. where transparency can happen, because you're wondering what is that all about instead of just asking him what is it, what it's all about. You're sharing your feelings with us, but you have not shared your feelings with him. So I can already tell you that you're not in a place where there's enough of a strong trust and bond um, and connection in that relationship that you have there where you would want to do anything like that. Mm -hmm. Um, So you need to understand that that's the important piece. When you feel something, and let's transfer and and translate this to many different situations. For all of you who are watching, think about something in your own relationship or in a relationship that you've had where you feel something and you keep it inside. Mm -hmm. Don't keep it inside. It's okay. Sometimes you got to sit with it for a second you got to figure out how to say it. you got to be paying attention to the tone that you use. Sometimes some things are better written. Sometimes some things are better when you just chill for a second and you figure out how to package it. Mm-hmm. But all things are best when they are communicated. Mm-hmm. So share what you feel. It, it, it is amazing to me how many people, and it comes out of our childhood experiences, have been taught either overtly or covertly to not express themselves and to not say what they're feeling when you have a right and you have a duty to do so. You have a right to do so for yourself and you have a duty to do so for yourself and for the relationship. So our suggestion and our advice to you at the end of the day, the bottom line is this. Say something, sis. Go on and talk to him. What's up with that? I'm not sure about that. I ain't feeling that. That makes me wonder if you really want me. Do you want to be with somebody else? I'm having a problem. Express it. Or I'm interested. Express it. And whatever it is you express, once you do that, the conversation can get started and you all can be authentic with each other and you can start to take it to another level. But trust Mm -hmm. me when I say to you that none of this can happen if you're not willing to stop playing and start pushing. (laughs)